We start our tour at Kutahia at the government offices or Vali Konar. This fairly central location is near Gamayan Street with its 250 year old historical buildings and with easy access and walking distance to most of the city museums. Kutahia is a fairly conservative city with a fascinating mix of old and new. Unfortunately, after two days of sun and good weather, in Balakasia and Eskishahir, we caught cloudy skies and colder climate in Kutahia, but at least it didn't rain. The area around Gemayan Street is full of older houses, some of which are waiting to be renovated and others that have been beautifully restored to their former glory. Walking around the back streets of this old part of the city uncovers a treasure trove of an era that time has passed by. Kutahia is a city situated along the Porsuk River. The capital city of Kutahia province is 250 kilometers from Balakisir and just 70 kilometers from Eskishahir. It is also 300 kilometers from the Turkish capital city of Ankara. The city lies in hilly country amidst the rolling plains of Anatolia and it's famous for its impressive hilltop fortress. Kutahia, also known as Kotyayum in antiquity, has seen its fortunes flourish and decline over the centuries. It was along the trade route linking other major cities and became part of the Ottoman Empire in 1429. The ceramic industry for which the city is famous became established during the 16th century. Many of the famous Turkish mosques and Ottoman buildings have beautiful ceramic tiles and faience from Kutahya. Next to the Ul Mosque there is a building called the Umur bin Savcı Madrasa. It houses the archaeology museum and this small complex with just nine rooms features artifacts dating back from before the Bronze Age and covering Greek, Roman, Byzantine, Seljuk and Ottoman periods. Although a very small museum it makes up for this with the quality and diversity of its exhibits. The importance of Kutahia dwindled at the turn of the 20th century due to the growth of the city of Eskishahir nearby. However, this important cultural and historical city flourishes today and the famous Turkish coloured tiles called Chini are still made and sold locally. Whilst you are here visiting, Take a look at the Ulu Jami, Great Mosque, which dates back to 1410 and which features a 16th century market building from 1440. Next up we take a look at the Tal Museum or Chini Musesi. The museum is located right next to the Ulu Mosque and is the only dedicated Tal Museum in Turkey. It was built in 1411 by Akup Celebi II as a social complex featuring an almshouse, a small mosque, bath and library. It was restored by the Ministry of Culture and Tourism and opened to the public in 1999 absolutely stunning examples of tiles and ceramic craftsmanship from the local area can be found in this museum. Although Kutahya is famous for its ceramic tiles and pottery products, there are other more modern industries in the city such as sugar refineries, tanneries, nitrate production and the extraction of meerschaum. Kutahya is home to the world famous Yajibedir carpets you will find plenty of opportunities to shop for souvenirs and the old wooden and stucco houses of Katahia are unique and very picturesque. High on a hill nearby you will find Katahia Castle. It is a long walk even if you're feeling ambitious. 
so it is best visited by car or by taking a taxi from the taxi rank near the Ulu Mosque. The castle was built in the Byzantine period and then reinforced in Seljuk and Ottoman times. The castle is in ruins today, but the view of the city of Kutahya below is impressive. There is also a revolving restaurant and a cafeteria on site. If you have plenty of time on your hands, then this is a good place to sit and relax and get a bite to eat or chill out in the cafe and admire the views. Be sure to get the taxi rank number from your taxi driver so that you can call a taxi for your return journey back to the town. We also visited Kosuth's house. This is an 18th century Turkish house located on Majar Street. Known locally as the Hungarian house, it was home to Lajos Kosuth between 1850 and 1851. Lajos Kosuth was one of the leaders of the Hungarian War of Freedom and he prepared the Hungarian constitution in this house. This wooden house has furniture from this period and personal items owned by Lajos Kossuth. There are seven rooms which take us back in time to see how the house would have looked during his stay here. Walking around the area near Germian Street and you will come across a hive of activity and many small museums and places of interest. We didn't get the chance to visit the Tiled Mosque or visit the Thermal Springs near the city, but we did visit the historical Roman ruins of Eisenoy and the ancient market nearby. Details of this can be found on a separate video. Walking around the streets of Kutahia with souvenir shops and handicrafts, the visitor will soon see that daily life has not changed much in the last few decades. Residents of the city sell their wares on the streets and there are many small repair workshops that will recycle almost anything that is salvageable. Skilled craftsmen are in short supply nowadays. One such master craftsman named Mehmet Gersoy has a museum dedicated to his beautifully crafted ceramics. He was a master of his trade and the Turkish government and many dignitaries used to place orders for his work. Born in 1950, he has sadly passed away, but examples of his work and photographs of his life and travels can be seen at the museum. Mehmet Gursay specialised in creating pieces that were decorated with blue, turquoise, green and red, which are known as Iznik Chini, and which date back to the 15th, 16th and 17th centuries. They are only found in Iznik and Kutahya. The museum can be found in Gamayan Street, but photography or video taking is strictly forbidden. Before you leave Kutahya, be sure to visit the huge Kutahya Kervansaraye or Chinejiler Chashisa, with its ceramic and tile workshops and souvenir stores. Many items are made using templates and then painted by hand. Others are mass produced. Just be aware of what is handmade and what isn't. Not all ceramics are the same. This is out of town a bit, so you'll need a taxi. On your return journey, get a taxi from the large mall on the other side of the main highway. Thanks for watching, and please give us a thumbs up if you like watching this video. Until next time, Hoshcha Kalan, goodbye.